I'm here today with my Sephora VIB recommendations. I have so many good recommendations here for you guys. I have done one of these videos almost every single Sephora sale. So I will make sure to link throughout this video the other ones that I've done in past years because a lot of those are probably still tried and true. I tried to pick out stuff I haven't talked about. A couple of them are just so good that like I have to mention it again. So if you are new, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I just realized those need to be moved. So let's jump right into my Sephora recommendations. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with kind of like how I get ready. I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted two videos or one video, um, one with just makeup and the other with skincare, body care, and hair care, and you said you want one video. So I'm gonna try to make this quick so it's not too long. So the first thing is the watermelon niacinamide dew drops. Is it gonna focus? Oh, there we go. This stuff is amazing. I have gone through multiples, like probably four of them. It's one of my favorites. It makes your skin so glue gluey. <laughs> glassy and glowy. It makes your skin so glowy and glassy and just so beautiful. It's one of my favorite skincare products. I will continue to repurchase this. I recommend if you've been wanting to try this, give it a go during the sale. It's so good. The other glow recipe thing that I like is the um, plum plump. Yeah, the plum plump moisturizer. That is also amazing. I basically have not found something from Glow Recipe that I don't like yet. There's a couple things I don't have because I've already finished them up and they're in empties. One of them is the Summer Fridays Toner. That is fantastic, it's unbelievable. It makes your skin so glowy and beautiful. If you don't wanna get that one, this one's also amazing. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner. And it's very similar in the fact that it does give you that beautiful glow refreshed look to your skin. So I really like this Glow Toner and I also really love the Summer Fridays one. I've already repurchased that three times. It's very, very good. I have two sunscreens. One I've already finished up. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Primer Sunscreen. It's so good. It plays very well with makeup. You can use it as a primer if you don't want to add a primer too. I just used it as a sunscreen. I believe it's SPF 45 and it is phenomenal. It's not greasy. It plays well with makeup. It doesn't get pilly. It's absolutely so good and it's in an empties video that you guys will see soon um the other one i really like is the summer fridays again i haven't found a summer fridays product that i don't like um i mix the summer fridays sunscreen this one has spf 30 with the de bronzy drops from who are you drunk elephant this is almost gone i mix this with basically every sunscreen because it just gives a really nice bronzy glow to the skin these shade drops are so nice they're very lightweight it's a very liquidy you can hear it's a very liquidy consistency, um, but again, it's so light. It plays well with makeup. I don't have any issues with it pilling or making, you know how sometimes certain sunscreens, when you mix them with your skincare and then you go to put foundation on, sometimes they just don't work well together. I've never had an issue with this with any of my skincare or any of my foundations. And then the bronzy drops are just a nice bronze glow that you can add to your sunscreen to just kind of like give yourself a nice bronzy glow. Okay, this primer is my standout primer. It's my favorite primer of all times. This is the sixth or seventh one I bought. Like I, after I finish this, I immediately go out and repurchase it. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. It is amazing. It's tacky, it keeps my makeup on all day. It works with every foundation I've ever tried it with. I never have an issue with it pilling. It never makes my makeup look heavy. It's so, so good. I love this one. I also own it in the glow, the ultra glow. I really love the ultra glow as well, especially if I'm gonna do more of a matte foundation. Um, this is nice because it does give a really pretty glow, um, but I prefer just the regular one. If you have super, super dry skin, maybe try the glow one if you have an issue with, you know, needing some extra like lit from within glow, a little bit of sheen to your skin. Maybe try the ultra glow, but the regular one has my heart and I love it so much. The standout foundation, I was looking at all my foundations, which they're all like right here. I mix and match my foundations constantly, but the one that is true till the end of time, I've already finished one, the Makeup Forever Foundation. I own this in three shades. I already finished up the 2N26, which I believe is sand. I've already finished one up. It's in an empties. This is absolutely phenomenal. I love it. It's what I reach for every day. It's the one foundation that like I will constantly mix with other things 
and this just makes every foundation even better. So I love this. They have a ton of shades. It's absolutely phenomenal. If you if you're lucky enough to have a shade that they make it in a mini, I also purchased the mini in 2N26 and you can see it's a lot smaller. So this is perfect for traveling. I have so many places that we're going. Um, this, even to the end of this year and all of next year, like we're traveling a lot. We haven't traveled in years, hardly at all. And now we're like, okay, we're traveling. So I don't always want to take this big glass bottle. So I love that they make a mini in the shade that I typically I'm 2N26. Um, if I have a really good self tan, I do have a darker shade or I'll mix this with a darker foundation of a different formula, different brand. Um, but it's just such a good foundation. I think it'll work for everybody. It's a beautiful, thin, lightweight. It's what I have on my skin today. It's phenomenal. Powder that I really like, this is Givenchy powder. This is the Prism Libre in the Rose shade. Now, my friend Sam loves this. She sets her whole face with this. I cannot put this all over my face. If I do, my skin looks so cakey, so makeup-y. It does not look good. But her and I have different skin types. She's very oily. I am very normal. So I only use this under my eyes and it just gives a really pretty smooth, brightened look under the eyes. I only use this under my eyes. I do not put this all over my face. So if you have super oily skin, maybe try this all over your face. If you are more normal to dry, um, I would just do this just under your eyes. It just sets everything so nicely. It blurs. It's just a really beautiful powder. It's very expensive. So I'd take advantage of this sale um, to purchase it if you were looking at buying it. I think they have a pressed version now too, which I really want to get. Two lip balms that I'm loving. This one's one I've been using every morning. It's the Kosas Plump and Juicy Collagen Lip Balm. And this, or Lip Boost. It's so nice. It's a little bit thicker. has a nice vanilla scent to it. Um, it's clear and it's just juicy. Like every morning when I sit down here to do my makeup, I put this on and I just let it sit while I do my whole makeup and then I'll, you know, wipe it off to do my lips at the very end. But I love it. It keeps my lips nice and hydrated and pillowy and soft. The other one that I have by my bed is this one, the Summer Fridays. I have it in the, I think this is like called beige or something, vanilla beige. This one has a little bit of color and then I have just the regular nude one as well. And that's one I, I use at night and they smell like vanilla. They're so beautiful. See, this one has like a little bit of color. I absolutely love this. This has a strong vanilla scent in all the best ways. So these two I've been loving. I love that I don't have to stick my finger in a pot. I do love my Laneige sleep mask. I have that by my bed as well. But I've just been reaching for this because it's just so much easier, especially if you have fake nails. To like have to dig your nails in is kind of a pain. So these are a winner. All right, I have to mention this. I know I've mentioned this a million times, but honestly, I think it is the game changer for what makes my makeup last all day. Like I will go work out and at the end of the day or after a workout, I'm sweating and I have had so many people say, how is your makeup still on? How is your makeup looking so fresh? I swear it's the Charlotte Tilbury all night setting spray. I do not do my makeup without this. I just set my makeup at the very end and I really do feel it is what keeps my makeup on all day. It's what keeps it from sweating off. I mean, I live in Northern California and our summers easily are 115, like 110, 115, 118. That's a very normal summer for us. And this keeps my makeup from sweating off. It's absolutely phenomenal. I highly recommend it. If you have not tried it, you need to. Another kind of fun product is this Fenty Beauty. This is in Rose Rave. And I know you can get it in many other colors. I think our gardeners just got here. Of course they did. And it's just really sparkly. Do you see that? And I'm really sorry that there's gonna be, I this is the only time I can film. Lincoln is down for a nap. And um, my babysitter is sick with stomach bugs. So I'm having to film <laughs> despite all of the, you know, obstacles that are coming today. But do you see how sparkly it is? It's so pretty. So I like to use this on at, for lots of reasons. I don't do it on my cheekbones. It's too glittery, but I love to use it top on my eyes okay so we have these bamboo trees in our back and I swear today's probably the day they're gonna decide to cut those bamboo trees like level them out so anyways it's a beautiful topper for glittery on your eyes um, my friend Sam loves doing glitter all over her body and so sometimes I'm feeling a little Sam like and I'll take a big fluffy brush and I'll just put this all over my chest it's so pretty I know they have a few different other shades um, but I'd definitely check those out okay they're doing exactly what I thought like literally the bamboo tree right there and they're like leveling it off because it looks insane like a chia pet 
Um, so I don't see them stopping anytime soon. And Lincoln should be up from his nap in about 45 minutes. So hopefully we can just like tune them out. Okay, I looked back at footage. It doesn't seem to be that loud. Like it's very loud in here. I can hear them. I don't know how Lincoln's even sleeping through this, but <laughs> I can't hear. Okay, we're gonna move on. I'm not gonna be distracted by them. Okay, two blushes you need to have. Get them, just get them. They're so good. I have the coral one on today. It's my absolute favorite. They're going in and out of stock a lot and now they seem to be in stock quite often. So the coral you can see is really bright, vibrant, warm, pinky coral versus this really cool toned pink. And they're so beautiful. I use them all, both of them all the time. It's like this one I use almost every single day. And look, I, I use them every day and I have for months and you can still see the embossing. So you get a ton of product like, I don't know if this is considered a ton of product, but I've been using these for months and I've hardly made a dent. So they're absolutely beautiful. Get them before they sell out again. My favorite blush is probably of all time. Highlighters that are super pretty. This Laura Mercier, I've talked about it before, but it's so pretty. It's in Rose Glow and it's just such a gorgeous, like it's not metallic-y. It's just like a beautiful sheen. See that? See how beautiful that is? It's just a nice glow. So if you don't like a really metallic highlight or a super beaming insane highlight, this one is so pretty because it's so subtle. And doesn't that look so gorgeous? That's a different swatch, but like, look how beautiful that looks. It looks so healthy and sh like beaming without being metallic. Do you know what I mean? And it's not like too much. If you like a little bit more of a metallic-y one, this LYS one and Aim High is really pretty. It's what I have on today. This one's a little bit more of a metallic-y golden color. And this on my eyes, you can see there, it has more of a peachy undertone to it. But it's really beautiful. I know they have a few other shades as well, uh, but this is the only one I have and I really like it. It's a really beautiful highlight. A bronzer, this is my second time I've purchased, third time I purchased this bronzer. Second time I purchased, purchased it in this color. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in shade two. It's a ton of product. It's gonna take you a really long time to go through it. The color is really pretty. And I, shade two is my favorite. Shade one is pretty light. Um, I do like shade one for like my nose contour, but there's shade two. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite bronzers. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a bronzer, that is a great one. It's this Lancome mascara, one of my favorite mascaras. I've been using it nonstop. I've already repurchased it. I'm gonna buy a backup. It's the Lancome Lash Idol. And it is a one that I don't typically like. You guys know I like the natural bristle. This one is a rubber. And I just feel like it does the most for my lashes in a mascara that I haven't found in a long time. Does that make, no, that doesn't make sense. It does for my lashes what no mascara has done for me in a long time. I have very like stubby, difficult lashes. And this one just actually like, makes me look like I have lashes. I don't get spider lashes. It just looks nice. And it does help my curl stay a little bit too without it being waterproof. So I love this mascara. This is my tried and true liner. This one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. What are you called? Better Than Sex liquid liner. It's what I use every single day. It's my absolute favorite. It is a brush instead of a felt tip. And I just get a really nice flick. It's my favorite. I continue to repurchase it. I have three of them right now and I'll probably buy a couple more during the sale because it's just my absolute favorite liner. Here's another cheek palette that I forgot to mention. If you are wanting to try Patrick Ta cheek products, this is a great one to try. It's a new limited edition one. It's his Patrick Ta for face volume two. I missed out on the first one. So this is the second one and it's really, really pretty. So you have a hot, you have hot pink, a coral, and then a highlight. I'm not crazy about this gloss. I'm actually gonna compare these to the Dior um, because I thought, oh, this would be like a great dupe to get those same colors, but it's different. They're not the same. I mean, they may look the same. Like when I'm looking here, I'm like, oh yeah, they actually do look very similar, but they're different on the cheeks. See, they look very similar. But there's something about the Dior blushes, the way they go on the cheeks is different, but I'll swatch this for you. Oh, they do look a lot alike, don't they? They do, I mean, I get it, they look similar. I'm just, at this point, I feel like somebody's gonna be like, you're just justifying. Okay, here's the difference. These are thinner. The Dior ones are a thinner, they're a thinner um, consistency. I feel like I'm shouting. They're a thinner consistency. So I feel like they look, lighter on the skin as far as like thinner on the skin, um, more natural looking, I guess. 
The Patrick Tall ones are nice, but the formula is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more of a like powderier formula. So you do get kickback with these. I don't get any kickback. So it does have a heavier look. It's a little bit more opaque um, and you can get out of hand really fast with them. And then you also get the creams, which is really nice. So they are very similar, okay? I'm having a hard time justifying it. Other than if you were looking up close at my hand, let's see if you can tell. Do you see these Dior ones are just smoother on the skin where these ones are just like a little bit more, they sit on the skin a little heavier. They're both great. So you know what? If you don't wanna get the Dior one and you just wanna get this, you also get some creams and a highlight. Um, so I just feel like I tried to justify my way out of that and then I talked myself into saying that they're pretty much the same color. They're both amazing, buy them both if you want. So I think you should do you boo. Okay, a couple ice eye products, then we'll do lips. If Sephora sells, oh gosh, man, I am so clumsy. Holy Toledo, okay. So if Sephora carries this, which I think they do, this Better Than Chocolate palette is so good. I love it, I have used it so much. If you just take out this bright blue color and this purple, it's like a very neutral palette. It smells divine like chocolate, but they blend amazing. The mattes blend really good. The shimmers blend really nicely. I use this all the time um, since I've gotten it. They sent it in PR, which I hadn't gotten PR from Too Faced in years. This is my go-to palette for every day. It has every matte neutral color I could possibly want. You can tell I've hit pan there. This is my brow bone color every day. This is one of my all time favorite crease colors. I have some great colors here to deepen up the outer V, a little bit of the crease. And then I have liner colors or darken up the outer V. Like this palette has been very loved. I love this. This is the Mario Master Mattes palette. I think everyone should own this. Trick Ta, these are amazing if you are wanting to try them. They're so beautiful. The mattes are great. The shimmers are beautiful. It comes with two creams. This is the original one and it's in more neutrally warmer browns. And then this is the newer one that he had came out with and it is the, um, what do they call it? Just the Major Dimensions number two. And this one's more rosy colored but they're absolutely beautiful. They're so stunning. I need to actually pull this out and use it because I haven't used it for um, a good month or two because I've been using that Too Faced one, but these are, whoa, phenomenal, amazing. Definitely recommend them. Um, I'm very big on putting sparkle on my eye lid. It's like what I do every day. I usually use the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism palette. It's one of my favorites, but I also use these a lot. These are from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is the... Flawless Eye Filter Luxury Palette. That's just what it's called. And it has these Baked Gelee shadows. Oh my gosh, there we go. It's got these Baked Gelee shadows and they're really beautiful, subtle sparkle. And sometimes I'll put a little glitter glue on my lid. Sometimes I just go right in with these. And this one is just like a really nice, soft shimmer and there's little micro glitters. This other one I really love. This one is Pillow Talk Dreams. And I really focus on these two colors. This color right here I have on my lid, this pinky color. And these ones just have such pretty sparkle. I feel like if you're intimidated by shimmer or sparkle on your lid, this Charlotte Tilbury just does it so good in such a beautiful, sophisticated way that if you were nervous to do sparkle or shimmer, she makes it easy, you know what I mean? So I really love those. They're kind of like in my rotation of my go-tos. Okay, a couple lips. I have three lip liners, tried and true <laughs> lip liners. Uh, I've gone through multiple of all of these. Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. I have gone through, I don't know, five, six of these. So many, it's just a perfect nude. Then Wherever Walnut, I have, I don't even know how many of these I've gone through. I've just purchased five more from, um, it's very similar. It's got a little bit more kind of a purpley pinky, tone to it, more mauve -y. And then Kala, I've gone through two of these from Natasha Denona. And Kala is probably one of my favorites. So they're all very similar, but a little different. Three most used lip liners. I'm gonna recommend one lip product, lipstick, and it's these. These are from Hourglass. This one is in Mist. It's what I have on today. I know a lot, what happened? How did stuff get all over it? I know a lot of people love the Maracuja ones. For me, I've had, I have like a bunch of them. 
and three of them have already broke where they don't click up anymore and there's a ton of product and there's no way of getting the product out. Um, this one just rolls up, which I like. This is the color Mist. It's beautiful. It's like a warm pink. And then the other color I have is Trace and this one is more of a brownie nude. But they're so juicy and glossy and absolutely beautiful. And then two glosses I would recommend are these right here, Item Beauty, if they come back in stock, and the House Labs. I have every shade of both of these, and I just love them. They're like a lip oil, but they give you the most juicy, glossy lip. Like here, I'll put the House Labs one on. This is the bright pink one. I also have the Coral. That's probably my most favorite. But it just gives you like the biggest, most juicy lips. It's so nice. Mm. There's not much of a smell to these. But I just love it. They're so good. Okay, we're going to finish up with a couple fragrances and then we're going to call it a day. Um, these are going to come up no surprise to you, but like they're literally so good that I can't not mention them. The first one is probably my all-time favorite, Prada Paradox. Every time I wear this, I get stopped and asked what I'm wearing every single time I wear it. It's so good. I've clearly gone through a bit of it. It's girly. It's light. It's sweet. It has a little bit of fruitiness to it. It's just like a great everyday fragrance that's nice and girly and light and a bit and sweet with a little bit of fruitiness to it. Love that one. Clean Reserve Skin. This is an amazing everyday. If you work in an office, you could wear this. I don't think anyone would be offended by it. It just smells, they call it a floral musk, but to me it's like warm, a little bit musky and comforting like it's just comforting not like warm vanilla sugary but just like warm but it's not like fresh like fresh skin out of the shower it's really hard to explain i definitely recommend checking it out it's the clean reserve skin scent one is a little bit more of a summer scent but if you're going on vacation somewhere tropical you're going to hawaii you're going to mexico you're going to the bahamas this is the fragrance for you or if it's just summer. Lost in Paradise by Chris Collins. This smells like a beach, suntan lotion, coconut sea salt or salt water, sweetness. Like it is the perfect tropical scent without smelling like a pina colada. You know what I mean? Because there's also like a warmth to it, like a warmth of a slight spice to it. This hair is really bothering me. I'm so sorry. Um, it's absolutely phenomenal. We are going to Mexico for our anniversary next year. This is going to be my signature scent while I'm there. We're also going to the Bahamas next year and this will be my scent. Anywhere that I'm going that's like beachy, this is going to be my signature scent. Okay, another amazing scent. I have a big one of these that's already like only has a quarter left. The Valentino Coral. This is so good. Let me spray it. My sister, or my brother-in-law got married and all the girls wanted to wear my perfume. So now this just reminds me of my brother-in-law's wedding. It is fruity, light, and sweet. Very nice, great for um, a date night or like a girl's brunch, like it's light. It's not like a deep, seductive, sexy scent, but it smells amazing. Now Dead Cool reminds me, this is Dead Cool Taunt. It's their number one fragrance. It's um, unisex. This is another one like the Clean Reserve Skin that's like not offensive. You could wear it, it just smells good. Like you'd wear it and, you're, and you just smell nice. Like you're not smelling too sweet, you're not smelling too spicy, you're not too powdery or florally. It's just a really nice, God, this smells so good. Oh, it's so good, it's like intoxicating, I love it. And then this one is also really good. Actually, there's another one that I'm missing. Nest um, Indigo. Very unique fragrance, smells amazing. I've already gone through a full size. I have um, a travel size in my car. That one is like a deep, sexy scent. This one is the Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. This, if you love vanilla, you'll love this. It just smells like a vanilla balm. Oh, it's so nice. I absolutely love this. So if you love vanilla, Madagar Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil, this one is really, really wonderful. I'm trying to think if I'm missing any other ones. I think that's, those are like probably my standout ones. So I tried to get through as many of these as quickly as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
What are you guys planning on picking up from the Sephora VIB sale? I am also going to be filming what I have on my wish list to get at the Sephora sale. So I'm going to film that one next. So make sure you check that out. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.